Welcome to the Backgammon Christmas Calendar. 24 points of Christmas. The 12 point by Grandmaster Mark Olsen. What's up Backgammon fans? Today is the 12th of December. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about the 12 point. So the 12 point might be considered a little bit of a boring point. Why? Well, because it's your opponent's point. It's your opponent's midpoint. You rarely do you have checkers on your 12 point. It's your opponent that has checkers on your 12 point. But actually, uh, there's one particular idea with related to the 12 point or your opponent's midpoint that I want to share with you guys in this video. It's, uh, it's something that I discovered quite recently and uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of players know this. Um, and the idea is that uh, if you are in an early priming game or priming battle, where both players are kind of trying to prime each other's back checkers, and your opponent gives up the midpoint, he loses the midpoint for whatever reason, that's often a trigger for you to double. When your opponent loses the midpoint in a priming battle, if you have an overall better priming game, that's the trigger for you to double. That's very often the case. So let's have a look at this position here and see uh, what happens in this sequence. So we're in this game, we're in a priming battle. So you, you have an advantage here because you have an anchor on, on uh, your 22 point, my three point, and I'm still stuck all the way down here on your ace point. So already, you're kind of priming me better than I'm priming you over here. Um, but it's still a rather, rather uh, even game, I would say. I even have a shot on this uh, checker out here on my nine point. Uh, I roll and I roll a double six. It's not exactly a good roll. I would have preferred to roll a four so I could split or I could hit. But uh, the, I have to move the dice, of course, that's the rules of the game. I can't move my back checkers. Which means that I'm actually forced to move these two down. And after I move these two down, the best, uh, two, the rema best remaining uh, eight, sixes are these ones. You play 13 to 1 with both checkers. Hey guys, remember to download and play on the Backgammon Galaxy app. That's the best point. I pick up my dice, whoop, that's the trigger. We're playing a priming battle and your opponent just lost the midpoint. That's when you want to double. Now you double. This is a good time. This is exactly the time you want to double before you lose your market. And a market loser would be definitely something that makes the five point for instance. Or even just something where I start crunching next time. Because that's the thing, the moment I lose my midpoint, my probability of crunching my front position, front position goes way up. It's far more likely that I end up crunching right now because I had to let go of my midpoint. I'm actually just one bad roll away. Like let's say I roll a 6-3 next time. Then I have to play like this. I have to crunch my eight point and start burying a checker. Not good. So this position for orange, even though you're behind 30 pips in the race, you have a timing advantage you have an outfield control advantage because that's what happens when I let go of my midpoint, I surrender the outfield. You have full control of the outfield now, which means you could even split out your checkers in whatever way you want just to increase your outfield control. So if I roll a four or five, for instance, now you have triple coverage. You have triple coverage of all of your outer points. This is the concept of outfield control and that's very important in a priming battle. I don't have any outfield control. If you were to jump, I can't shoot you here because I don't, don't have any presence in the outfield. So the moment I surrender the, out, or the midpoint, I surrender the outfield control. And you can play freely out here, diversifying, spreading out your men to have optimal outfield control. I don't have that, I don't have that feature at all. I don't have any outfield control. Now I have to start liberating my back checkers because otherwise I'm going to end up crunching really fast. So that's the idea. In priming battles, the moment your opponent has to give up the midpoint, that's a trigger for you to double. 
So this was a video about the 12 point. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope to see you again tomorrow when we talk about the 13 point. Merry Christmas, backgammon fans. <laughs>